So last week we shot this video with Live Active Charlotte, CrossFit Steel Creek. I actually haven't seen the final version of this edit behind the scenes. So I'm gonna check it out, talk about what we did, why we did it, and let's look at the footage. What's up guys, Ryan Weber here, and I'm here to help you guys with your video and marketing production. So we shot a video, we did a bunch of videos for them. We also shot behind the scenes footage so we can show you what it's like to be on site with us. So I haven't seen this video yet, we're gonna dive down into it. I'm gonna talk about what we did, why we shot it, how we shot it, and we're gonna see if we can give you guys some tips for video. So let's jump into it. This is something that we never do and then we had to plan this beforehand because we always, I always, when I shoot, I do a really, really bad job of setting the scene. So something that really does a good job of kind of setting the scene of knowing where you're at with nobody in the gym, you know, this is a gym. Here's some things that are, that are close up of the gym so you can kind of get some details. I never do this, I'm really bad at this, so I'm glad we actually did it the right way this time. <laughs> transition this is shot mostly handheld so all these close-up shots is actually handheld with our main camera which is a a Canon C200 and we shot with an 85 lens. So um, basically we're shooting from pretty far away to get that real blurry background because we wanted our image to really stand out. We shot with a really shallow depth of field. Um, basically what all that means is you get this really cool blurry background and uh, Daniel here looks really good. <laughs> So interview set up, um, we wanted to showcase the gym here. We wanted people to see that you were sitting in a gym and we really wanted that person to stand out. We actually got another new lens. We put the 35 millimeter on to conduct these interviews. I interviewed the person, um, two light setup. We use the garage doors as kind of a fill light. We had our main key light, which was our aperture 120 D and we brought the, the aperture mini light dome on it. And then um, on the back light here, we had the Westcott one by one, but I think it looks really, really good. Honestly, probably the best looking interview setup we've had. You know, I like to, I like to get a jump start on my day. I like to- I mean, can you argue with that? How good does that look? Get my blood flowing first thing in the morning. By the time I get to my shop, I'm awake, I'm rolling. Um, before doing this, especially at 5 a.m., you know, that early, um, I walk in my office or my shop at nine o'clock and I'm still halfway sleeping dragging and it would be like noon until I got up. But now, like, my, I'm already in high gear and soaring by the time I hit the door, so it's great. So Daniel, you know, what we were trying to do, we had four client testimonials. We wanted to showcase the people and we also wanted to showcase the, uh, the services that we offered. So Daniel, someone that came in, we wanted to highlight him. We wanted to tell his story. We wanted to make sure that, you know, his story really stood out. So I asked him a couple questions and, and all of our, our people, we asked them some questions just to see how their life has changed over their CrossFit journey. And that was really the goal of these testimonials. We also brought in his coach to tell their story, just a quick one sentence to kind of just reiterate what that person's saying. So that was kind of our goal with these client testimonials here. So here we've got actually got all the coaches working out, so don't get all mad. These people have been together for, you know, however long during the quarantine. Um, so we're out, we also had a plan of the coaches needed to get their message out there to their members. They haven't seen them in three months typically. And so what we wanted to do is really make sure 
they could tell the story of how the quarantine has affected them and how much they miss their membership base. So, you know, obviously you got to get some good looking B-roll on this and then... <laughs> had some other like personal training going on they um you know they're taking extra extra precaution with all of their stuff so i just wanted to highlight the fact that it is truly a one-on-one -on -one experience and there's nobody else in the gym so you know it just kind of shows that personalization and the the individual focus on that particular client this looked really good this was literally lit by um sunlight um i think it looks really really nice we've always struggled with the lighting in this gym when it's when the doors are closed um, so with the doors open and using that natural light, I think it came out really, really good. And I don't know, there's something about this 85 millimeter lens with the slow-mo. It just looks good. It's all about them angles, people. Just gotta get low. And so the reason we shoot like this, you know, low to up, especially in a gym setting, we want the subject or the person that's in that video, we want them to look in charge, more powerful. And when you shoot low to high, that's what kind of effect you get. So when you're training in a gym, you want people to seem like heroes and larger than life. And so that's why we go low to high in this kind of stuff. <laughs> This B-roll came out really, really good. I'm really happy with it. We did use the gimbal a little bit. Um, when the coaches were working out, you could see that was some gimbal work, but I mean, a majority of it was handheld. Um, when we're using our gimbal, we actually use a Panasonic GH5S, um, soon to be the EOS R5 once that comes out, but we get a couple months for that. Oh my God, I miss you. <laughs> Just come back. Okay, for everyone again. So yeah, that was the coaches. So basically what we're doing is kind of this documentary style, highlighting the coaches, showing them, um, talking about their members, caring about the members, what they've done during the corona quarantine, everything. Um, and I just think that image looks really, really good. Just wanted to take you guys behind the scenes of one of our video shoots of why we did something, why things were said, interviews were said, how it looks. Um, why we shoot certain things. Um, we don't have the final product. We literally edited this for me to look at some of the footage. It came out amazing. I'm really excited to see the final products for our client. And uh, if you wanna see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button below. We're gonna be starting to do a lot more stuff like this with, with Jorge on the team now. We have the capabilities of showcasing more of what that day in the life shoot looks like for our clients and what we do to help people out. So really, really excited guys. We'll, uh, I probably should end that a little bit or I was doing so good. So if you're interested in more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. I think I already said that. I don't know where I'm going with this. Guys, we'll see you in the next video. I can't end a video. I'm so bad. So guys, I hope that was... <laughs> Why can't I end a video? This is like, every time I get to the end, I just don't even know what to say. Every video, it's like this.